Spanish Niger YouTube channel. Thank you so much, guys. I really do appreciate your likes on my video, your share, the thumbs up. This is thumbs up for you guys. I do appreciate it a lot. Today, actually, I'm going to be drafting a four-piece skirt for you. Four-piece skirt. That is what I'm going to be drafting. Four-piece skirts, they are really good. Four-piece skirt actually helps you to manage your fabrics yeah if you like you want instead of you to make a six piece skirt and you don't have a lot of fabric like six piece skirt you cannot actually make it with two yards but four piece skirt you can actually make with two yards of fabric and then it will still be okay today i'm actually going to be drafting it on this paper for you i actually told you that i was going to be doing it for this next video from my previous video so i'm going to be drafting it on this piece of paper it's really quick easy and fine to sorry and simple to understand yeah it's fine also so that's what i'm going to be doing this day so like i said if you like what i did with this video please do not hesitate to hit on the like button subscribe if you are new if you are just passing by if you like what i did with this video please subscribe i really appreciate it. and do not forget to hit on the notification bell for you to get updates whenever i upload new videos so now let's just go down to it fast so now i'll be marking out my lines for this video for this tutorial the first thing i'm going to be doing for for a four piece skirt for the first thing you do because i my fabric the, sorry because of my pattern paper this is my folded end so i just use tape flat to staple it so you i will have enough paper for it so the first thing i'm going to be doing in drafting a four piece skirt i'm going to be using um 10 inch from this side so i'll, I'll explain to you later so i'll just take my tape like this and then i'll measure 10 inches this is 10 inches here so i'm just i'll just rule it out i'll just make a straight line so for this 10 this 10 inches that i did it depends on the size of your fabric it's optional you can decide to make use of with from between six yeah six inches to ten inches you can reduce it and you can also increase it so because this is what will create that flare at the front of it so that's just this is just the essence of those ten inches that i measured and that is what will create that flare for you so it's optional you can reduce it you can also increase it depends on how flowy you want your four piece skirt to be so the next thing i'm going to be imputing my lines now so all the measurement that i'm actually going to be using for this skirt is going to be starting from this side of the line so i'm going to be using this line as my start up line so i will impute my measurement now from the waist the full length of this skirt I'm going to be using the entire length of my pattern paper. I'm not going to be adding allowance because this is a pattern. So it's 36 inches. So that's what I'm going to be using for the full length. So for the, the waist measurement, from the waist to, to hip is between 6 and 9. You can use between 9 and 10. So it depends on how. So for this, I'm just going to be using 10 inches. So I'll use 10 inches. Then that's the from the this is the waist and then this part between six and ten that's the hip part for those that don't know if you use if you do it like this you actually you get it right by the time you insert your measurement in between six and ten you get it right the hip you can see like this skirt i'm putting on the hip measure the hip part it will not be up and then it will not be down it will just be perfect then from the waist measurement to the knee which is this part that's where the flare is going to be starting from. I'm going to be using 18 inches. You can actually measure. It's usually between 18 and 19 inches. So it depends. Then I'll be using the, the full length. So I'll just connect my lines now. So this is my waistline 
and then this is my hip line and then this is my knee line so this is it this is the front piece of the skirt i'm gonna be showing you how to draft the back when i'm done so i'm doing the front first so i'll just impute the measurements now so the measurement i'm i'm gonna be using for this for the waist uh, the, the waist i will use 26 inches when you divide 26 into four because it is a six it's sorry because it's a four piece skirt uh you divide all your measurements here you divide them into four so when you divide 26 into four you have 6.5 so i just that's for the waist so i just take my tape like this and start my measurement from here like i told you i'm starting it from here from this line this 10 inches already have i already have my allowance i'm going to be using half an inch from this 10 inches to to, to join so i'm okay with it so i'll just take it like this and then i'll measure 6.5 this is 6.5 here so this is 6.5 i'll just make a curve like this just put a slant on it then for the hip the hip i'll use 32 inches for my hip for the hip, 32, when you divide 32 into 4, you have 8 inches. So I'll take it like this and then put it here on this hip line. This is my 8 inches. I just put it like this. And then the next thing I'm going to be doing now is the knee part. For the knee, depends on the knee actually depends on how tight you want it to be. Some people they do actually do not like skirts that are tight because maybe they cannot move or they cannot walk. But the real skirts that like this ones that we find on Instagram that are really fine and um really beautiful. The knees if you notice you find out that the knees are usually very small. So for this knee part I'm gonna be minusing two inches. You can minus between one and a half to two and a half. So since this is a pattern so I think I should just let me say I'll just use minus um one inch but i'm just telling you for the sake if you want those instagram on minus from the hip minus two inches to bring it down you can even go as far as three inches also then for the down part of this skirt i'm gonna be using my i'm gonna be using for if it's an actual fabric you can determine how wide you want the down part of your skirt to be so for this so i'm just gonna be making use of what is left of my pattern paper which is 14 inches so now I'll just connect my lines like this from here to here from here to here and then here to here so that's what i'm just gonna be doing now to connect my lines so you can just dot it out that's like for beginners you can dot it out if you don't want to miss it and then I'll just dot it like this. So now I'll use my I'll just connect now. If you have a, a curve, you can actually use your curve. So for this down part, I'll just use my straight ruler like this and just connect it. So this is it. You can see the shape of the skirts. Like the four piece skirt it's already here so the next thing i'm going to be doing now which is this 10 inches part that i left initially this is where i'm going to be getting the second flay that's this um sorry this calf part for the down that's what it's actually called this calf part that's what i'm going to be getting from this part so that is why i told you that is why i used 10 inches that i said you can use whatever measurement you want to use depends on how big so all you just have to do is just take your your, your ruler like this and then draw another calf just like this just from your knee from the knee part just take it like this and just draw it down you can see the skirt you can see the beauty of the skirt is already there then for the allowance you can add if if you're going to be cutting this on fabric you can add your allowance like i told you you can just add your half an inch allowance to it. You can add your half an inch allowance to it, just like this. And then do this. So you can see, 
So this is the front piece. So I'll cut it out now. So this is your four piece sketch. You can see how beautiful it is. You can see the down part. That's where the beauty lies. For the back piece, let me just explain before I cut it out. For the back piece, you're going to be cutting the same this diagram that we have here, that's the exact thing you're going to be cutting. The only addition that we're going to be adding for the back piece, um, I'm just going to be adding the allowance here. So before I cut it, I'll just draft both the back and the front together. So it will make it easier for me and then for you. So you just take, you can decide to use between one and two inches of allowance for it. So this is one inch allowance. That's for the back piece. If you're going to be drafting the back piece together, if you want to draft it, it seems it's a pattern. You just take it like this. And then when you get to this down part, you can decide to reduce. You can actually decide to reduce it. You can actually decide to just reduce it. And then you just draft it like this. So this is the back part. And then this is the front part. So I'll just cut it out now. So this is my the the it together from my from the zipper part to just give you the, the front view so I'll take it like this And then for this part, guys you can see you can see how beautiful the skirt is you can see it's just so it's just looking you can see it is looking like a six piece skirt because of the huge allowance that i used at the front because of the huge allowance i used at the front so you can see how the cap is looking so beautiful so this is how this is just so simple this is how you draft a four piece skirt in a very simple and easy way so you can see guys if you have any question you can drop it down on the comment section i'll be very fast to reply to your comments you can see how beautiful it is looking and see how beautiful so this is how you draft your four piece skirt so Thank you so much guys. I have not come to the end of this tutorial. If you like what I did with this video, please like it, like it, like it, and subscribe and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.